compost. That's right. It's it's compost made from worms. They call it vermicompost. Vermicompost. Does, does that smell, Mr. Kirk? No, it doesn't smell at all. You want to smell it? It just smells like earth, doesn't it? Like good soil. It's pretty cool that this food could turn into that. Isn't that amazing? What is that? Academically, students have gained so much from the garden. We used it for math, science, reading. We've read stories about the garden, and we've written, um, we've done journals and um, how they feel about certain plants, and we've done research. It's just gone um, to extreme ends of using this garden for all academic areas. The other thing about the garden is it teaches students about respect and respecting others, respecting school property, and um, even respecting themselves. What I'm learning in the garden is about a plant cycle. Last fall, we were really fortunate to have some sponsorship of the garden by some local businesses, Capiche Restaurant and PrivateMauiChef.com. So you have the basil and the cheese oh together. Take your tomato. Beautiful, beautiful. I think the cool thing about having us out here is kind of putting the pieces together, right? So they get to see, oh, we're taking all this and then what we're doing with it. So kind of seeing the grand, the big picture, the grand scheme of it. We're really thrilled to be launching a new garden at Lokalani Intermediate School. Uh, in partnership with Community Workday Program and the Maui School Garden Network. Uh, we've currently got a temporary garden installed for uh, special education classes over there as well as the Hawaiian Studies uh, teachers. This year we've uh, added a pizza garden where we're growing all the things that kids are already familiar with, tomatoes and herbs and, and spices and uh, green peppers to, to make a pizza when we do our harvest party this year. We've also got a Native American inspired garden with corn, squash, and beans, and a canoe garden uh, that features plants that were brought over by the early Hawaiians when they first settled on the islands. I like the pizza garden because it makes, the, it looks like a pizza and it makes me so hungry that I want to eat it. Well, we started with one teacher and three beds and a few students, and they were so enthusiastic. The other teachers and the students saw that, and they wanted in on it, and now we have a 10,000 square foot garden. Last year we had over 500 students come through. I think this year we'll be closer to 600 by the time we're all done. And it's, it's awesome. Seeing the kids in the garden, they love it. The volunteers love it. It's, it's a transformative place. And we've just recently launched a new school garden network site. It's MauiSchoolGardenNetwork.org. And there you can find information on how to start a school garden, how, you know, the challenges we've had. It has a lot of information about Kihei Elementary School as kind of a starting place, but it also we want to encourage other schools around Maui County to start using it, where students and teachers can all come and share their ideas and their lessons that they've learned in the garden. And I think we should sort of uh, push the envelope and hope that every successful business that uses Maui as a backdrop to sell like every resort, every restaurant, to adopt another school. Happy healthy plants make happy what? People!